and welcome back to today's video. So today I've got a pretty juicy story time for you guys and it's about how my manager stole £600 from me. £600. That's how much my rent costs for this apartment. Like, £600. They just stole it. So, if you want to hear this story time, keep on watching, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. It'd make me happy, so let's go. So, this happened in probably early December. Um, just before I went to New York actually, so probably like late October, no late November, um, late November this probably occurred and it had never happened to me before, I've never been scammed like this, I've never had money stolen from me, I've never had that experience with YouTube. I know a lot of YouTubers have because there are some sketchy people and yeah, it wasn't a good time. So let's just start right at the beginning. So let's say in July-ish when those videos were blowing up my story times in my school that had been deleted now. One had like almost a million views. It had like three quarters of a million views. The other one had half a million views. They were doing really well. My channel was like blowing up. If you went on my subscriber count, it'd be like ding 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 ding. Just like flooding with new subscribers, new views. Um, and those videos literally just blew up, you probably saw them, I'm not sure. A lot of my subscribers came from those videos and that is when this company contacted me around that time because I'd obviously seen the videos and they were like, oh, money. <laughs> so I got an email from this company called Social Talent. They sent me an email, I'm going to see if I can find it. They were basically a management company that wanted to manage my channel. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've got it. So, let's have a look. I don't know if I can find the original email. So basically, we ha they sent me an email. They were like, hey, we'd love to work with you. We're a management company that does this, that, this, that. Um, then they emailed me saying, hi, Beth, really good to chat yesterday. I hope it didn't make, make you feel really nervous. I'd love you to have a chat with blah, 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 who looks after all of our talent and operations here at Social Talent. She can have a chat about the next steps and moving forward. I've CC'd her in, blah, blah, blah. So then I signed a contract to say that I would be linked to them and they would be managing any campaigns and this and that and this and that. And they basically send me jobs over. So instead of me organizing the jobs, um, how it works if you do a sponsored video, you'll get an email from a brand, um, let's say Best Fiends, because everybody works Best Fiends. I've never worked with them, but everybody does. Um, so say Best Fiends emailed you, they'd be like, hi, we'll pay you. 2500 to feature our app in one of your videos you'd like negotiate with them like no 2700 oh we can only do this much blah 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 and basically this company social talent was supposedly better at getting the best deal for you and instead of getting like 2500 from it you get like 3500 from the video instead so that's pretty much what they did they'd get me jobs here and there for youtube videos instagram posts twitter posts you know, Snapchat, whatever. And it was going really smoothly for a while. And then the woman that was kind of managing me, let's call her Stacy, Stacy left and I couldn't get in contact with anyone. I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. So I went back through my emails and I emailed the head boss, let's call him Dave. Dave was the whole manager of this company, Social Talent. And he was Stacy's manager and he had someone else on board and they like, looked after everybody so Dave was like oh blah blah blah's left and I'll be finding someone else to manage your stuff blah 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 and everything was going fine I'd done jobs with them and then there was a snapchat post I needed to be doing and I was talking to another woman at this point let's call her Melanie she was really nice she got me a few jobs in the past and they were like really easy jobs that related to you guys she really worked at finding campaigns and jobs that worked for my audience which I really appreciate if someone contacts me asking to advertise like a football I obviously wouldn't say yes because it doesn't you guys wouldn't like that, why would I do that? Um, so she'd really work on finding things that you guys would like, um, which is really, really cool that she looked into what you guys liked and kind of things that you posted about to see if she could work around that, which I thought was amazing. So she would kind of send me jobs more tailored to my audience and she got me this one job for a Snapchat post. It was to talk about, I honestly cannot remember, <laughs> what it was. I think it was about a film. They asked me to do a Snapchat post, so hi guys, I've been watching this film, I just watched it. Um, 
can't remember what it was called but it was a really good film and I just kind of told you about the film and when it was coming out and the release date and all that kind of stuff and the fee for that which is what I would get paid was 600 great British pounds and I agreed to that and then I made the post once you've made a social post you download the video that you've just done and send it over via email with an invoice if you don't know what an invoice is a lot of you guys might have never sent one an invoice is basically you put invoice at the top you put who it's to here who it's from the details of what you did so a snapchat post for a film release then you'd write the fee 600 pounds pay to and then your paypal address and then the date of when you're sending the invoice or when the post was published and then they have to pay you within 30 days of that so I sent that over, it got to the 30 day mark and I hadn't received payment I was like hi Melanie, Like, do you know what's going on? She was like no I haven't heard back off Dave in a few days, I'll call him up see what's going on. She called him and she replied back to me saying Dave hasn't answered his phone, um, I'll try again tomorrow. So that happens, she calls him, she calls him, she calls him, he's not answering his phone. She emails him, she emails him, she emails him, he's not answering his emails, she's like why don't you try and email him or call him. So I called him, I emailed him, no answer. <laughs> and then she was like Bethany I'm really sorry but it looks like this payment isn't going to go through. Um, I haven't been paid my wage, like she hadn't been paid her monthly wage for working for the company. She was fucked, like she was like I don't really know what to do myself. I was like I'm down £600 that I wasn't expecting and it was just a load of shit basically so this man Dave had basically taken all the money from the campaigns that had been going on he probably had a good few grand there from all the people that he was managing took the money and just fucked off gone no one heard from him Melanie was like I'm really sorry I don't know what to do like I'm really really sorry I have no idea like what what I should do I was like it's okay it's completely not your fault and Melanie has recently set up her own uh, management thing she's going on her own to do that stuff because she obviously doesn't want a scammer being her boss so she's doing that on her own now and I'm obviously no longer linked with the company but recently after this all happened the company went dead like it just flatlined you couldn't find them anywhere if you search for them you wouldn't find them like they were just gone like completely gone and recently I went on Instagram and I saw a post from them because obviously I was following them they were my management team so I followed them to like show my support and I told you guys about them because I like showing support for my management team. So, I was obviously following them. I found a new post saying, like, we're up and running, like, this, that, this, that. And I was like, what the fuck? So I sent them a message saying, hi, you still owe me £600 from this campaign. Got no reply. So then I commented on some of their posts. I thought, if this is public, they're going to react a lot faster because other people are going to read it. So I left a comment saying, hi, uh, you didn't pay me the £600 from the social post, blah, blah, blah. And then they blocked my account. And I was like, bitch, like, I've got other accounts I can use. So I logged on to another account. I was like, hi, this is Bethany Lee. Said the same thing. They blocked me again. So then I got my new manager to go onto their Instagram and be like, hi, one of my clients um, used to work with you. And she didn't get the payment for one of the campaigns that you did. And they blocked my manager's account as well. So I was like, okay, fuck this shit. <laughs> um, I went on Twitter, Twitter. I went on Twitter and tweeted them recently. You might have seen it if you follow me. Um, my friend tweeted them, and I'm basically getting no response. But now that I know they're back up and running and they're not bankrupt, because if someone goes bankrupt, they legally don't have to pay any money out that they owe someone. If the company goes bankrupt, they just they don't have to. I thought if they've gone bankrupt, then fair enough, they've got nothing to pay me but they're obviously not bankrupt considering they're up and running so now it is going through court my granddad told me about this company that he uses because my granddad owns a business as well and there's a company that he uses if someone doesn't pay him after the 30 day invoicing he goes to them and they let him know like they'll like arrange a court date and everything and my granddad doesn't have to go to court they just kind of settle it for him and yeah <laughs> it's going to court now and I'll update you really soon but you guys were asking about this one and I decided to let you know so that is how my manager scammed me £600 and yeah my manager stole from me and lied to me and be wary when making business deals um so yeah that is pretty much the whole story I feel like every story time I do is so anticlimactic but yeah that's that story it's currently going to court 
and I'll let you know when there's an update. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this. If you have any video requests, let me know. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye.